stop saying you don't have time. Just stop saying it because when you say I don't have time, you're making yourself feel behind. You're making yourself feel like you can't get it done. You're making yourself feel stressed out. Instead, this is what I want you to say. This is not a priority right now. Because when you say this is not a priority right now, you remind yourself that you're in control of what you focus on. You are putting your attention on what's important to you and you are taking control of what you spend your time on and suddenly you feel like you have more time. We try so hard in our lives to fit in. We try to fit into certain groups, you know, among certain friends. Yet the people we idolize are most are the ones that stand out. But when you're prepared, there is no fear. There is no fear of failure, okay? Because even if you walk out of something and feel like you failed at it, your preparation is so strong that you're gonna take that failure and turn it into the outcome you desire. And most people stop at failure, okay? We've all failed at things. I'm gonna to continue to fail at stuff. It's the most powerful tool you can use. If you're in a spot and you don't know what to do, and you're not sure where to go, and you don't know where the right direction is, start walking and start looking for opportunities. And they'll show up. Stop holding on to what someone did in the past. It's holding you prisoner. And because you're a prisoner, you think that everyone else is a warden trying to hold you back or hold you down. They're not. Release that so that you can be free. And because a freed man celebrates, a freed man realizes that he's no longer a slave, he is no longer bound, he is no longer limited, he no longer needs validation, you be free. Because when you find yourself free, you can operate without guilt. The moment that you start something, your start path will start to clear out. And you might not know what's going to happen or how it's going to happen, but I promise you, if you pick that thing that you love, I'm talking about you really love, I'm talking about that thing that you will do for free. If you pick that, if you pick that, every day, if you choose that every day, consistently, it's inevitable for you not to be successful. And those kids gotta understand, you gotta stay true to yourself. You gotta have the ability to think for yourself and know that sometimes you're gonna have to be a man before you become one, but you're ready for it. You can do what you put your mind to. And if you continue to put your mind to it, the game opens up new levels. You live in a dominant culture that is designed to destroy your sense of self and your belief in yourself and and you have to learn ways in which you can begin to connect with this power that you have within yourself to handle where you are. The key is to be constantly in a perpetual process of discovering the truth of who you are and fighting constantly to Look for ways in which you can escape the inner conversation. Because, sure, life is tough, but it gets a lot easier when you're laughing at it. So, despite the suffering, in fact, to spite the suffering, to spite the hardship, to spite the challenges, laugh at them all. They can't stand it when you do. And they all get easier. Yes, laugh at them all. Laughter wins. 
It's something that tells you that there is layers to greatness. Some people will stop at good enough. Others will stop at good. Others will realize that good can give way to very good. And then the real champions realize I can be great. Doesn't mean I'm great in every area, but in this one thing that I perfect, this one thing that wakes me up in the morning, and this one thing that makes me go to my knees and thank God for giving me this gift. The emptiness in your life isn't because you don't have enough rights. You have all the rights there are. You can get whatever you want whenever you want it. And if that's still not working, well, what are you missing? Well, maybe you're missing the opposite of that. A little bit of restraint, a little bit of sacrifice, some responsibility. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says, no, you just say, it's just what we do. It's what we do now. When you're complaining, you know what you're doing? You're focusing on everything that's wrong in your life. What you focus on, you move towards. We're gonna start realizing that, embodying that. We're gonna realize that you are the hero that you've been searching for. It ain't me, it ain't them, it ain't that, it is you. The hero that you're searching for in your story, you have already found. You see that person in the mirror every single day. But when you start choosing joy, when you start choosing peace, when you start choosing you, when you start choosing your worth, you start to understand that you are that hero. And now is the moment right now for you to walk into that. And I need you to walk into that because people that you don't even know need you to walk into that. They need you. But you got to start choosing your worth. People who go after that stuff, what makes it worth it? It's got to be your passion. You got to love it. It's got to be what you are supposed to do. There's so many times in life you don't want to be doing what you're doing. You can't just can quit. Remember this. This isn't a hobby. This isn't a joke. It's a lifestyle. So what you say to yourself is important. There's no coach. There's no trainer to keep you going. It's only you. Every poor decision you've made in your life there was more emotion that was involved in it than there was mine. Quit using the word luck, quit believing in luck, and start believing in work. Start believing in results that come from your actions. We come into this world alone. We die alone. What we do between those times is success or failure. You can also find every excuse as to why you won't make it. You can find every reason if you look for it as to why you won't make it. But at the end of the day, there's going to be two groups of people. And one group is going to be a lot f***ing bigger than the other. The one group is going to get told that they can't do it. And instead of fighting, and instead of working, and instead of, you know, saying, well, f*** that, I'm not willing to accept that, those people are going to just take it. And that's what society's counting on. Society is counting on you giving up. Then there's gonna be a smaller group. And the smaller group is gonna be the group that says, hey, you know what? Um, I, I hear what you're saying, but I'm not willing to accept that. I'm not willing to just roll over and take what I'm giving. I'm not willing to stop trying because you say that I can't fucking do it. That's what you say. That doesn't mean it's the truth. And I'm gonna go all the way out every day. And look, you're not gonna hit it every day. There's gonna be days where you're off. There's gonna be days where you're weak. But if that day, instead of bullshitting yourself, instead of saying I wasn't weak today, what are you talking about? If that day you own it and you say, yeah, I was weak today and I'm not going to be weak tomorrow, but I'm not afraid to face that. I'm not afraid to look in the mirror and say today was a bad day, that I didn't make myself proud today, but that shouldn't diminish who you are.